this is Barbara. Welcome to Yes Faces. Today we're going to turn a florist vase into a fabulous gold leaf vase or candle holder. We're starting with what is a 99 cent find from Goodwill, which you may just have in a cupboard around your house because these come free with florist flowers. We're going to use some gold leaf to transform them. Using the design, I'm choosing to use a chevron because they're so hot right now. You could do stripes, you could do polka dots, any initials would be very cool. Anything you like. For the holidays, you could spell out joy. Just let your imagination go. The way we're going to do it is the very first thing you do is clean your glass thoroughly so that there's no oils or anything sticking to them. Then you're going to find, usually I like to get some kind of a gold leafing kit. You can get faux gold foil, or you can use pieces of real metal gold flakes. I prefer these. They're not terribly expensive, and I think they give a richer look. The kit that you buy will come with an adhesive, a foil adhesive, and if it doesn't, it's in the same aisle with the craft store. I just put it directly onto my brush. Of course, it is an adhesive, so you have to be able to get it out of the tube. And once it's on your brush, I'm just going to start randomly, you're not going to be able to see this because it's clear, so you just randomly start painting your shapes and your designs on there. It's going to go on, once I get two or three coats, it's like an Elmer's glue, it's going to be white and milky. So you're going to want to wait until that dries clear. It'll take about half an hour to an hour. If you want really good coverage on your gold, give it a second coat of the adhesive and let that dry. Then we're going to go through and put the gold leaf on. Let me show you quickly what the faux gold foil looks like. You lay it on. It's a little bit like a... It's a little bit like an old graphite paper. You want to make sure that you rub it on well. The side that's matte goes down. The shiny side that's going to be facing you goes up. You rub over where the gold is. And you can see, I, I find you don't get very good coverage with the faux gold. However, when you use the real gold, they come in pieces like this. And I lay them over where I have painted my chevron design and I just rub them in. You can rip off pieces that are in areas that you're not going to want to cover or that you haven't painted. I like to, they say you can immediately rub these off. I like to wait a little bit and let them set. When you're all done, they're going to look kind of furry like this. You're going to have little pieces hanging off. So I like to come in, they put a little cloth in the sets that you buy, and you can gently rub those pieces off with the cloth. But I find I have more control with a brush, so I can rub more aggressively where I know there is no adhesive, and a little more gently over the areas that I want to stay covered with foil. Now if I weren't doing this over glass, if I were doing this on a piece of wood, I would probably put a dark red base coat because that's your standard traditional gold leaf look, but I want the clear light to come through. Now, once you get all of the sides off, you can see I'm okay with it being spotty. I think that adds to the antique look of it. Use it for flowers because the gold leaf is on the outside. Wash it gently. I'm going to use it for a candle. You can put all three of these right down your dining room table or on an entry hall table and they'll be beautiful. Give it a try. It'll make a great gift or a great accent for your home. Thanks.